Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2008 family film called The Click. Macy Block, the main character of this movie, lives in the big house with their parents, William and Kendra, and her dog Bean. Macy is one of the most popular girls in her all-girls private school, along with her friends Dylan, Kristen, and Alicia, who call themselves the Popular Committee. One morning, Macy learns that her parents have decided to take in their family friends, the Lions, who have just moved from Florida. This enrages her, and she gets mad at them for ruining her upcoming party plans. To calm his daughter, William informs her about his friend's son Todd and daughter Claire, who is the same age as Macy. He also mentions that the Lions will be staying for only a few days in their guest house until they get a suitable house. Despite this, Macy is upset as she has a planned party with her fellow seniors. Sadly, her parents are having none of it, and they warn her to be present and behave at dinner. Left with no options, Macy quickly calls her click, makes up some rumors about the host named Shelby, and convinces her friends to avoid the party. Meanwhile, Kendra tells Macy that if she is nice to Claire, she will allow her to attend the party later. In the next scene, the lions arrive, and the kids are in awe of the Block's mansion. William and Kendra come outside to greet their guests, while the arrogant Macy scoffs at Claire's fashion taste from her bedroom window. She gets ready and appears with Bean in her arms, but finds it hard to get along with Claire, even though the latter is very kind to her. At dinner, the adults discuss Claire's impressive academic performances, but Macy is unimpressed by it. For her, Claire is just a loser who comes from an average family. Seeing her daughter's rude behavior, Kendra suggests she take Claire along to the party, but Macy fakes being sick and returns to her room. Later, Claire asks her mother Judy to take her shopping for some fashionable outfits like Macy's, as she wants to fit in at the new school and impress Macy. Judy finds the idea somewhat strange, but she eventually gives in to her daughter's demands. The following morning, Maisie goes horse riding on a private trail and meets a guy named Chris Abilly. She instantly finds a stranger attractive as they chat for a while. Elsewhere, Claire goes shopping with Judy and bumps into Dylan at one of the stores. She overhears Dylan arguing with her mother as the latter refuses to get her a perfect size of jeans because, in her opinion, they are large. As Dylan stands dejected, Claire approaches her and suggests she switch the tags with more petite jeans so that she gets the desired jeans and her mother is also satisfied. Dylan likes the idea instantly and thanks Claire before being whisked away by Kristen and Alicia. Later, Judy gets in an expensive pair of jeans for Claire, causing her to squeal in excitement. On the first day of school, Judy informs her daughter that she will be heading to school with Macy in her car. Hearing this, Claire gets excited and rushes to the block residence, where the driver, Isaac, helps her slide inside the car. Soon, Macy also gets in and tells Claire to move to the back seat as her friends will be joining them on the way. First, they pick up Dylan, and Macy learns that she already knows Claire. Throughout the ride, Claire hears the popular committee rank each other's outfits and feels underdressed. After they reach the school, the quartet begins their daily routine of judging others' appearance while a shy Claire bumps into Chris, causing them both to fall down. Wasting no time, Chris helps her up and apologizes to her. He also introduces himself, but Claire is too awestruck to answer. Meanwhile, Macy notices the two together and gets jealous. She storms inside the building, leaving her friends confused. A while later, Claire approaches the clique to ask for directions to her classroom, but Macy behaves rudely and sends her away. Following this, the girls try to think of something that will force Claire to drop out. In the next scene, Claire somehow gets to the class, which has already started. Her art teacher, Vincent, warned her not to be late again before assigning her a seat beside Alicia. After this, he instructs the class to paint a bunch of red tomatoes, and the students get to work. Meanwhile, Alicia purposely bumps into Claire, ruins her work, and spills red paint on her white pants. As a result, Vincent assumes that she is on her period and forcefully sends her to the nurse's office. Later, Dylan excuses herself from a Spanish class when she receives her friend's texts. Following the plan, she meets Claire in the hallway and pretends to be nice. When Claire asks about directions to the nurse's office, Dylan misguides her and sends her parading throughout the school building. A while later, Claire reaches the gym and becomes the laughing stock for Macy and her classmates. Eventually, she gets to the nurse's office and realizes Alicia's prank. Meanwhile, the school nurse Adele lets her choose clothes from the lost and found section. During lunch, the popular committee makes fun of Claire for wearing old and outdated clothes. After that, Macy tells her friends about her encounter with Chris and also their potential date. She asks her friends for help planning the date, but Kristen mentions that she needs to come up with some ideas for the school project. On the other hand, Claire finds herself lost amongst the sea of girls, not knowing where to sit. When the girls keep mocking her, she leaves angry. Later, the popular committee sneaks up to the boys' school to spy on Chris and gets very excited after seeing him. They also leave Claire to walk all the way home. 
Later, when Claire eventually reaches home, Judy asks her about the change in clothes. Instead of revealing everything, Claire simply makes up excuses to cover up for not-so-great first day of school. She fakes getting along with Macy, much to her mother's delight. On their way to school the next day, the popular committee plans to create a long-lasting, natural, and edible lipstick for Kristen's project. When Claire tries to chime in, they quickly dismiss her and keep mocking her. Nevertheless, Kristen suggests they name the project Glambition, and the girls like the idea. When they reach school, the four friends exit the car, and before he drives away, Isaac encourages Claire to find different friends. During lunch, Claire meets an eccentric girl named Lane. They get along well, making plans for the weekend. Later at home, Kendra invites Claire over for Macy's sleepover on Saturday night. Despite being continuously bullied by the group, Claire is happy and immediately accepts. Because of this, she makes up an excuse and cancels her plan with Lane. In the next scene, Claire goes to the block residence for the sleepover. Macy is mad at her mother for inviting Claire, but Kendra warns her to behave, so Macy reluctantly invites Claire to join her group. Later, Kendra reveals information about an upcoming auction, where the raised funds will be used for scholarships. At midnight, the girls play truth or dare and ask Claire if she likes anybody in their area, to which she replies, Chris. Hearing this, Macy and the girls get pissed at her. After a while, when everyone goes to sleep, Claire doesn't feel like she belongs there and leaves the party. The following day, Claire invites Lane to her place, and here, she learns that her brother is Chris, whom she has brought along. She also learns that Chris has a girlfriend named Fawn, who lives across town. Meanwhile, the popular committee is brainstorming about Kristen's lip gloss project. Just then, they learn about Chris's presence, and when they excitedly run to see him, they notice Claire with him. Claire purposefully touches Chris's hair to make Macy jealous. Later, Macy approaches Chris at the horse riding trail and invites him to the auction after learning that his birthday is on the same day. The next day, Lane accuses Claire of lying and ditching her, and the latter realizes that Macy went behind her back, snitching to Lane. Later, Macy tells Lane to keep their new friendship a secret and goes for a mani petty session with her after school by lying to her squad. However, her only intention to be with Lane is to get close to her brother Chris. Meanwhile, Alicia, Kristen, and Dylan met at Macy's poolside to discuss Kristen's project. They see Claire come inside and make fun of her cheap swimsuit. Surprisingly, Claire comes up with some witty comments, and this prompts the girls to join her in the pool. After a while, Macy arrives and gets mad at her squad for bonding with Claire. She then berates the poor girl, making her burst into tears. In the next scene, Judy sees her daughter upset and asks about the matter. Claire doesn't say anything for a while, but when Judy forces her, she reveals that she had a misunderstanding with Macy. Being the good mother that she is, Judy simply suggests her daughter resolve the issue and move on. By this point, Claire has reached her limit as she has been constantly mocked and bullied since her first day at the block residence. So, she goes to Macy's house to confront her, but learns that she is out for a walk with Bean. However, when she says that the matter is urgent, Kendra invites her to wait in Macy's room until she returns. Claire is fascinated with the room, and after a bit of snooping around, she discovers that Macy's instant messaging profile is logged in on her computer. Seizing the opportunity, she pretends to be Macy and texts Alicia, Kristen, and Dylan to wear weird outfits the next day. In the next scene, Macy makes fun of Claire's outfit choice for school, but finds her squad dressed the same. Later at night, Claire again enters Macy's room while she is out and uses her computer. This time, she texts Dylan and body shames her. Then, she texts Kristen and reveals that Macy has been hanging out with Lane. The next day at school, the popular committee passes snide comments at Macy, who is confused at her friend's behavior. Claire is happy to see her plan work, and when Macy tries to belittle her, the other girls side with Claire. With this, Claire is admitted as the newest member of the popular committee, while Macy is kicked out. Later during lunch, Macy sees her friends with Claire at their table and gets enraged. When Lane offers her a seat at her table, Macy snaps at her. Soon, Claire starts bonding with the girls and they become close. One day, she goes shopping with her new friends for the auction, where Alicia offers to buy her an expensive dress and also gives her a new phone. Later, the girls invite her over to Kristen's place and give her a makeover. However, when Claire gets home, Judy gets mad at her for being late without informing her. One thing leads to another and Claire screams at her mother. Because of this, Judy denies her permission to go to the auction. Meanwhile, Macy tries to figure out what went wrong between her and her friends and invites Kristen over to talk about Glambition. After a heated argument with her friend, Macy finds out about Claire's doings and patches things up with the popular committee. She then makes a group call and humiliates Claire in front of the entire group. The next day, the popular committee prepares the Glambition lip glosses in Macy's kitchen. During their preparation, Macy talks about Chris's birthday and the girls suggest she surprise Chris by popping out of cake. 
elsewhere, Claire gets emotional and shares everything with Judy, who urges her daughter to make things right. On a field trip to New York City, Claire apologizes to Lane for mistreating her, and they clear up the misunderstanding between them. Meanwhile, the popular girls get on the bus and start distributing the Glambition cosmetics to their classmates. One by one, all the girls try on the cosmetics, but unfortunately, they suffer an allergic reaction due to the peanut oil in the lip glosses. This causes chaos on the bus, and the popular committee becomes terrified they will suffer consequences. Amidst the panic, Macy anonymously texts Claire that oatmeal reduces the swellings. Wasting no time, Claire stands up and requests Lane's oatmeal. She comes to their rescue when she distributes it to everyone, reducing their pain and swelling. The scene then cuts to the charity auction, where Claire greets Lane and Chris comes over with his girlfriend Fawn. Elsewhere, Macy shows her I Love You Chris Abley t-shirt to her friends, who start gushing over it. Later, Claire patches things up with the other girls and notices Macy hiding under the cake for Chris. Despite the animosity between the two, Claire still doesn't want Macy to get humiliated in front of her parents and the entire crowd, so she rushes on stage and prevents Macy from coming out. She then invites Fawn to say something about Chris. Following this, she wheels the large cake into the kitchen and saves Macy from embarrassment. Although hesitant, Macy thanks Claire for saving her and apologizes for treating her terribly. Claire also learns that Macy felt threatened by her presence and acted mean to keep herself in the spotlight. With this, the girls reconcile and clear up their differences. As the movie ends, Macy adds Claire to her list of good things and the latter shares her happiness with her mother.